earlier we had uh, so a model in which we focused on uh, output and spending and um, so we looked at how how households decide how much to spend and so really the two key variables once we were framing the model that way were uh, tightness and output y and then we showed that um, solving the model um, was equivalent to uh, finding the intersection of the aggregate demand curve, aggregate supply curve, where the aggregate demand curve tells us how much households desire to spend for a given amount of tightness, and the aggregate supply curve um, tells us how much um, services are sold given how many, much capacity is provided to the market and the matching process. Um, then what we've just seen is how we can recast the model in terms of visit. So now what I want to show you is how we can solve the, uh, the model once it's recast in terms of visit. And of course, the two solutions are exactly equivalent, but um, conceptually there are some interesting um, we, we do learn some interesting things by looking at the model, uh, you know, formulating in terms of visit and looking at how it can be solved in that case. So let's do that now. So let's solve the model once we think about it in terms of visit. We are trying to solve the model. So what is a, uh, what is a, you know, the solution um, the definition of the solution, uh, or if you want the solution concept that we use here. Uh, so let's start with um, the definition. So first of all, we know that uh, to solve the solution of the model, so the, and here I'm only going to focus on, uh, so this would be true for uh, a representative household or representative agent or heterogeneous agent, because of course with heterogeneous agent, you also, when you solve the model, you've got to figure out the value of all the individual variables. But once you have, once you know the, you know, the endowment of wealth for each household and the capacity of each household and the market tightness, you're able to back out everything at the individual level. So uh, let's just focus on figuring out what is the value of the aggregate variables, uh, whether it's a, in a representative agent or uh, an heterogeneous agent model. Uh, so definition, uh, what's the definition of the solution of the model? What does it mean to solve the model? Um, So first, given X and P, so given the true tightness and the true price level, uh, VI is the number of visits maximizes utility of household I subject to their budget constrained, okay, um, then you know you have the kind of matching you have the matching process, the matching process imposes two extra uh, things, so first because of the matching process part of the visits are costly, so we know that consumption CI is just going to be equal to how much you buy YI minus rho VI so this is basically saying that there is a matching cost. And two, yi, the amount of services that household i purchases is q of x times vi. So this is because of the matching function. So now we have VI, CI, YI, uh, 
so the wealth of the household at the end of the day, you know, that is given by the budget constraint. We have MI, YI, CI, then of course the price P is given by a price norm, so that's settled. Okay, and so here we have one, two, three, four, we have five equations, but we have six variables always in this model, X, P, V, C, Y, M, so that's six, so we did one other equation. And so what is the last equation is that of course, and this is really key here, so, uh, the actual tightness is computed given by aggregating the visits. So this is just basically uh, so this is just basically the definition of the market tightness. Because here we, we said that you know, household takes a tightness as given, but we haven't even said then how this tightness is actually computed, realized in the same in the real world. So X, the tightness is V divided by K. V is the number of visits, if you want the number of buyers, K is the number of services that are provided, it's the number of sellers if you want, and so that's just the sum of the VI over the sum of the KI. by aggregating visits, or oh, I should have said, and capacities. That's just a yes. So here, yes, it's just a definition of market tightness. And uh, let me flag it. So, you know, our households anticipate a certain um, tightness. And here, of course, uh, when we solve the model, uh, we want households, you know, when they anticipate they're making their decision, we want to, we want, of course, household to have a correct anticipation of what's going to happen because if they had if they anticipate a wrong tightness, they are going to make decision that once the tightness is realized would be suboptimal because once your tightness is realized, that's what determines, you know, that in, if you make a decision that was planned for a certain tightness and another tightness is realized for the realized tightness, your new your decision you make is actually suboptimal. You could have done, knowing the true tightness, you could have done better uh, by, you know, choosing a different number of visits. Um, so we want them to have the correct anticipation. Um, so basically, they are going to make a decision, and then once all the decisions are aggregated, you get a tightness, and, and you want the households to be able to figure out uh, what is that tightness. You know, that that's what will be the solution of our model. Um, when house, uh, you know, our, in our model, we assume that household behave that way. So we assume that they know how to maximize utility and that they can forecast that because either if they don't maximize their utilities or they don't anticipate the proper tightness, um, you know, they're they are going to uh, behave suboptimally um, and they, they could do better. And here we focus on the situation where they're able to figure this out. So that would be our definition here uh, of, uh, you know, I guess, you know, in an heterogeneous agent model, but in the representative agent model, it's, you know, exactly the same. Uh, except that in that case, all the, you know, all the households have the same endowment of wealth and the same um, capacity. Uh, but the, the solution concept is exactly the same. <clears throat>